In Windchill, you can use supersession in order to track a component being superseded by another component. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I am in a Windchill connected Creo parametric session. I've got an assembly open that I have already checked in. Let's check it out so that we can make some changes to it. So I will do that from the right mouse button. And I can see in the message area that the checkout has succeeded. Let me click on the background of the graphics area to deselect everything. And the change that I want to make is that I've got a major component in here that we are going to modify. And this one will no longer be the active component. We want to indicate that it's superseded by another component. I'm going to right click on that component and use the replace functionality. And here we get the replace dialog box. I'm going to replace it with a copy. And for the name of the copy, I'm just going to alter the number a little bit. Let's call this 43 06 underscore top. And then click the OK button. And so there's the name of the component. Here we have an assembly level datum. Looks like it is paused in here. Let me take a look at the reference viewer to see if it's actually needed for anything. Who knows why this was created in here. While we're at it, let's delete that. And now that I have made my changes, it does not indicate that a regeneration is needed. Oh, it looks like it was used for a cross-section. But who cares? Let's now hit the Save button. And let's go to our workspace. I can access that from the folder browser. And I can take a look inside of here. So we have the assembly that I checked out. Here is the new component. And because I checked it out and had previously checked it in with a ghost object, the ghost object comes back. That is normal. In another video, I will show you some techniques for getting rid of ghosts out of your assemblies. But this is good. Let's hit the check-in icon. And so we've got the three different objects in here. The new one's going to the correct folder. Let me click on Next. And I want to make sure that we are going to auto-resolve incomplete objects. I'm just going to say Always Ignore. And then we can click on the Finish button. All right, there we see at the bottom of the screen the indication that the check-in has succeeded. All is good. Now I'm going to switch to a standalone web browser just so that it is easier to see everything as I do the work inside of the common space in order to designate the super session. And now I am looking in my common space. I am in the consumer electronics product. I'm looking in my calipers folder and I'm going to filter down to components with top in the name. And be aware when you're using this little filter, you don't have to use any wildcards. And so I see that here we have the dash 05 version. Here we have the dash 06 version. I'm going to go to the information page for the WT part of the original one. And we've got our different tabs of information here. We can see the little preview. I've got to change my settings so it uses the same manipulation as in Creo Parametric as opposed to the old product view manipulation. But if I go to the Related Objects tab, we have a number of different tabs here, but none of them related to Super Session. Same thing if I go to the History tab, we just have a couple of different tabs. So one thing that you're going to want to do is create your own custom tabs with the information that you want. You can do that by clicking on the new tab, little button over on the side. And so it creates the new tab. I'm going to right click on it and choose rename tab. I'm going to call this my configuration management, then click the OK button. And be aware by creating this tab here for one WT part, I'm going to have it available for all my WT parts. Now I will go to the customize icon. And by the way, this button for customize was not available on the different standard tabs. It's just available on the custom tabs that you create. Let's go to customize and let's see, let's go to related objects. And there we have supersedes inside of here. 
let me see if there's anything else that I want from this list of objects. You can see from the wide list of different information tables that you can add in here, you have a lot of different choices. So here we see that we have additional choices for changes. Here we have some of the history stuff, collaboration, product analytics, thing works, quality. Let me see here. I am actually looking for, I do want to have part configurations and part instances. I'm adding that first because the order that you add them determines the order in which they appear on the page. So the one that you pick first is actually going to end up being listed last on the page. So let me say I want part instances and then part configurations. Now I will go to related objects and we can find in here. Down at the bottom, here we have super seeds, and I will add that into the list. So now I've got my super seeds table available to me. And inside of here, you have an icon that allows you to add in a WT part that already exists, and then another icon that allows you to create a w another WT part to indicate supersession. So I will choose super seed with existing. And here we get a form. So here we have superseded, and then we can use the plus sign to indicate what it is superseded by. And I am going to type in for the number, let's see, it was like 43-06. And I will use the asterisk and click on search. And here's that brand new part that I created. Let's click the OK button. And by part, I mean I created a new CAD document part but when I checked it in, I also got another part. And so now we have it listed here as this component is superseded by that one. I will click the OK button. And now we have it listed here in our superseded table. One thing to note is that another very common way of superseding objects is by doing it in a change notice. So in the change notice, you can also indicate when one component is superseded by another, maybe probably as the result of a change task that was performed in that change notice. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded.